In this tutorial, you will learn completely how you can model some type of kitchen in a SketchUp. So it's really suitable for people who want to work as the kitchen designer in different companies with different values and incomes. So in this tutorial, we will talk about modern kitchen design, which related to unit cut, unit setup, and how we can create some different profiles of the units for dividing them into some useful pieces and parts. So you can create how to take copies and it's really suitable for the beginners if they want to start with the SketchUp. Let's get to work and support us. Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some super realistic kitchen in a SketchUp. So before we start this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. I'm going to start my job with the Align tool. So this tutorial is for the beginners or professional users of SketchUp. And I want to show you how we can create very easy these type of kitchens in a SketchUp. I'm going to start my job with the Align option. So I'm going to click on the Align. My unit is on the centimeter. So I'm going to draw some line on the red axis about 200 centimeter and 400 centimeter at the right side and another 200 centimeter like that so now we have some small kitchen with these type of things in here i'm going to start with creating walls for myself so i'm going to select all of these lines in here click on the offset and re-offset it to the outside with some number about 10 centimeter so i'm going to click on the align option close these part of my job like that and my walls height is some number about maybe 280 centimeters so this is my wall i'm going to click on it and convert it to the group in here next step is the uh kitchen units so i'm going to click on the align option another time there are some lines on this part of my job triple click on them click on the offset and offset it about 60 centimeter the original and standard number of kitchen design so i'm going to move it to this place click on the uh, push or pull press control on my keyboard now extrude is activated for me i'm going to extrude it about 90 centimeter and now time for uniting so first of all i need to add for example some type of washing machine place in this part of my job so I'm going to click on this line in here, click on the move, and I want to copy it, but I don't know how. So, if you are a first user of a SketchUp, you need to press Ctrl on your keyboard, an extra icon will be appear for you on your cursor. So, I'm going to move it about 35 centimeter, or maybe 30, and another time take a copy about 60 centimeter. So, this is my washing machine place i'm going to remove it click on the lines and delete all of them at the uh, same time so i'm going to start my job with the downside of my kitchen unit so i'm going to click on this line in here click on the move option take another copy about 10 centimeter click on the rectangle draw some rectangle about 10 to 2 and i'm going to click on the uh, follow me and now these paths will lead us to this type of model. If I click on the unit, or if I select these lines in here as the main pass and click on the follow me, now I can select my profile. So I'm going to select this profile in here, very simple. And another profile for this place. I'm going to click on the move option, copy 10 centimeter, draw my rectangle about 10 to 2 and follow me like this very simple and easy so i'm gonna click on the uh line option draw some line from the midpoint about 70 so it's a little bit too high value for me i'm gonna reduce it so i'm gonna click this line and this line together if you want to select multiple choices in sketchup you need to select first one Click on the uh, control on your keyboard and hold it and select your another object or line. So I select both of them, click on the move option, click on the control, copy activated for me. Some copy about 50 centimeters is acceptable. 
I'm going to click on the align option, draw some line like this and another line like this. And now time for creating details. So click on the uh, push or pull option, press control on your keyboard. Now you can re extrude and create new faces in the SketchUp. What is the difference? If I click on the extrude and only push it up, this will happen and it's not really good for me because all of the units in kitchen design have some exact measurements. So I'm going to click on the extrude, click on the control. Now I can re extrude and create new face about four centimeter, another four centimeter in here. And after that, I need some 60 for my microwave and another 90 for the uh, units of the upside. And in the left side of my kitchen, I need to re extrude it from these face. So 150 centimeter is acceptable. And this is our supermarket for the kitchen. If you are a kitchen designer, you know what is the supermarket. So I will continue the tutorial in here. I'm gonna click on this line in here, click on the uh, move and take a copy about 40 centimeter to the forward. So I'm gonna click on the uh, line option, select these end point in here move it to this place and this place and here so i'm gonna select these lines in here and now i only need to click on the follow me and select these profile so we create upside profile and unit very simple and easy only in a few seconds so now time for managing the units i'm gonna start my job with these part of my job so i'm gonna select this one and that one and take a copy about 45 centimeter it's good and another copy in the upside about 45 centimeter and everything left in here not really useful because i need to create some new type of designing it's trend in 2024 or 2023 and you can see many type of mdf high glass kitchen designs on the Pinterest or some other websites and applications. So I'm going to click on the move in here and measure it. It's about 65 centimeter in a standard design. Every type of value which higher than 60 centimeter in kitchen design, you need to take it to the half. So the half side of it, I think about 32.5 and it's good. And I will repeat this job in here. Everything is done for me. Another copy value about, I think, maybe 50 centimeter and another 50 centimeter in here. So for these middle points, I want to change the design process. So I will click on the align option, cut it to the half like this and push the downside a little bit to the backward about six centimeter. It's enough. So for the downside, I will click on these line in here, draw some line to this face and re-exact my unit like that. My oven in here, so oven's standard measure is 90 centimeter for the kitchen design. So I will type 90 and I will add some drawers in here. I think four is good. The total measure is 80 centimeter. If I divide it to four, it equals with 20. So now I want to take multiple copies. I type 20 in the distance. So I will type 3x and press enter. As you can see, I will repeat it again. You can select your object or line, click on the move, press control, copy activated. I want to copy this about distance about 20. And I need four times copy or exactly three times copy. So I will type 3x, enter. And everything is good so i will click on the line another cut in here and everything is good so for the upside i will click on these lines in here click on this one and i will start my job from this place so 60 centimeter for the washing machine so i will take 60 centimeter again in here another about 70 centimeter in here and 90 centimeter for your oven and micro. So everything is good for us. I will click on it 
convert it to the group and click on the rectangle draw my floor in here and move it a little bit about 10 centimeter another group and everything is done finally we need to create some surface for upside of our cabinet so i will click on the rectangle in here draw some rectangle like this click on these part of my jobs draw some passes and lines very clean and serene so i will select these lines it's a little bit hard work so i will hold shift and deselect these face click on the uh, follow me and everything is done so i will click on it and convert it to the group and this is our total job about the uh, rendering if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching thanks for your support and goodbye